Hey ya folks, my name is Provis, welcome back to more Farthest Frontier in our rapidly growing settlement of Enyali 10. I say rapidly growing, not quite fast enough, but we're doing the best that we can. Today's video's goal is very straightforward, I need to try to get to a tier 4 town center. I think that is possible, though it will take probably another 3 or 4 hours of work on my end. We need to get the population up to 400. That's gonna be a challenge. It's a very large city. And we need to get more of the houses to become large houses. This is less of a challenge, but it's gonna be costly. I need to get more desirability in all of these homes, and we need to get a lot more clay. If I can do that, some of these homes are already prepared to upgrade. For the rest, we just go through and, you know, let's say upgrade some of these parks and then boom, problem can be solved. Just need a lot more clay for that to work. So it's gonna be a very expensive investment on my part. I'm not even sure we really have enough space planned out already just to get the housing I need up to 400 once I populate this area, maybe. Though just in case, may not be a bad plan to have a housing extension available down here as well. And as long as we don't overlap with the industrial areas, I think this could end up being okay. And it would be nice to have some people working closer to some of these jobs. Less travel time means more efficiency, but we'll see. Starting small, let's go ahead and get some things like, let's say candle shops up and running, just so I'll be able to get some more money generation. Let's get a lot more farming up and running. These guys are all hard at work over here. And then yeah, see if we can rapidly expand. Oh, thank God, someone is selling me some clay. Grab all of it. I'm gonna need all of this stuff for sure. I also really want the gold, because it is going to take a lot of gold to do all the upgrades I've got in mind. So I will sell pretty much anything I can to leave this guy dry. Anyway, with this extra candle shop, I'm hoping to kind of revitalize our money generation, since we have not been able to stock up too many candles these days. And I still think that this might be one of the best ways of making all that money, so let's go ahead and start placing down more apiaries and make sure we keep that wax production nice and high. Though so far, it's honestly doing pretty good. Does seem nice that we're getting, I think, three traders a year now. Kind of glad I upgraded this trading center. The more opportunities for doing trade, the better. Hey, look, more clay. Ah, but you won't buy anything I like. Boo, that's gonna happen sometimes. As usual, my biggest problem right now is that I'm still barely keeping enough food production to maintain the growing population. And I go through weird little spurts where I have way more laborers than I know what to do with, and then I guess a lot of them get old, so I'm guessing our birth and aging cycle is still a little bit awkward. It's not as consistent as you would like it to be. Oh well, as long as we're not dead. Oh, finally, someone who's willing to buy some glassware. All right, this stuff's actually worth a fair bit. 25 gold each, <laughs> at least on a maximum price. Solid. And what is this? Hold on. A special relic, Ark of the Vengeful Dead. Raiders and wildlife are more deadly and aggressive. Sure, you know, when you just want to turn on hard mode for the game, apparently. <laughs> well, needless to say, I am not doing that. That sounds stupid. You guys might be wondering, by the way, why I still haven't built things like preservists. Way I see it, why bother? I go through my food much faster than I'm able to produce, or at least about on par, which means I'm not saving any food in between uh, cycles. There's just, there's just no point. I might as well not preserve it. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Again, with the raid camp attacking me. What is happening here? Where, what, wait, what are you guys? Oh, these are work camp, okay. This one's actually fair. So I have had issues in the past with this game where people seem to just wander up into areas where there are raid raider camps and they just keep attacking there. Like my guys just keep going in there as if there's like something on the ground that is just shiny and drawing their attention. In this case though, I actually did tell a work camp to go over there because I did not know that camp existed. So fair enough, we need to get a little further away from that in the future. That said, since they've been provoked, I don't think they're going to leave me alone. I'm pretty sure they are going to chase me until I shoot them dead. Gonna buy another relic, by the way. A wild's relic. There we go. Antlers of the Great Spirit. More meat. Just as an emergency option to get me a little bit of extra food production, since we've generally done a pretty good job of managing our deer uh, hunting. We haven't really run them into extinction quite yet. Besides, I think it would be fun to build a second temple. Get more of these artifacts, you know what I mean? I think they could be good. Oh good, more people! Hey, that'll push me up closer to that 300 mark. Oh. And raiders are approaching. You know, I was just thinking it's been a little while since my last raid. 
Okay, well, they're coming from, once again, a couple of rather nasty directions. I've got walls in place over here, but I'm not sure how well that's going to last here in this case, because uh, I didn't really build any towers, because I don't have any stone! So what am I supposed to do then, huh? Apparently, I'm just going to die. And one of the big problems that I can see is... Oh, and they brought a battering ram. Well, that's one problem, but not what I had in mind. Um, one big problem I can see is that uh, even when I ring the bell, my people are so far away, um, they don't actually, like go anywhere they don't leave so um they're just out here in the fields ready to die everyone retreat please get behind the walls for what little good it will do there's giant holes in them great they're just gonna break down this gate over here aren't they yep that's exactly what they're gonna do oh boy no well, it's fine it's fine i can rebuild a gate doesn't matter why are you going this way the gate was closed oh, whatever apparently he can sneak right through it's amazing he lived i don't know how he did but he did Anyway, I'll tell my people to run to a corner for safety as much as possible. We should be able to shoot these guys dead before they can do anything to my vault, and the rest are making a beeline over here, so... For the most part, the damage over here will be kind of limited. I bet you guys can go and take on this battering ram. They can't do much to you. That said, these guys are doing a surprising amount of damage over here. They brought cavalry, too! Oh! Okay! Great! So not only are they bringing in much stronger soldiers that can knock down my towers, they've got freaking cavalry! Oh, this makes me so happy! Yeah, they genuinely do actually have a lot more armor to them. They're taking almost no damage. Great! Okay, so you know what this means? Um, it means that my towers aren't going to be enough, and I need to get uh, an actual retinue of soldiers now. I was really hoping to avoid that. Well, that absolutely bites. Okay, defending against raiders is going to get a lot harder. I think they also stole a bunch of my food. Either that or we're literally dying because everyone dropped all their food, which actually looks to be the case. And we'll be okay once they restore. Um, I think I'm going to buy another relic over here. The Tribute to Fallen Kings. Luxury goods last 20% longer. I actually could see this being very helpful because it means that my luxury goods are gonna keep people happy in their houses for longer, which means I should be able to build up larger stockpiles of goods that I sell, correct? I think that's true. Anyway, um, yeah, let this be a lesson that I really, really need to finish my walls and get defenses up and running. Let this also be a lesson that uh, don't play on a map that has very little stone, for frick's sake. Oh. I really wish I had realized this sooner. Hold on, you're not allowed to build more than one temple? Oh. So I wasted like 7,000 gold for nothing. All right, we'll tell you what, we're gonna take off the, um, we're gonna take off the maintenance reduction for soldiers I don't have. And we're gonna swap it to the, probably to the Tribute of Fallen Kings. Locked for six months, I accept this for a bit. So this is still make my luxury goods last longer. We still could do extra damage with my guards. I assumed incorrectly I'd be able to build another one of these. Huh. Well, if we upgrade it, we can still get an extra relic slot. So it's not a total waste. I just thought, you know, two more slots, one more temple, place one down over here, problem solved. That's not how it works. Fair enough. You live and you learn. One thing that's amazing is despite all the troubles I have been having lately, and I am really looking forward to that next raid to just kind of prove how horrible I am, we're actually starting to catch up on food again. Seven uh, months of food currently stored up, population's grown up to 332, and we are slowly increasing all of our homesteads. I think I saw a couple more under construction, so we should be at about 18 to 20. Just a bit more to go, a bit more desirability, and we'll be close to meeting that goal. Why is there now a tutorial talking about stockyards? Do you think I have not known that this entire time? Wait, what's going on? What are we unable to find production for? Oh, we're out of space here, apparently, with these kinds of good usable goods. Really? Well, I'd love to upgrade these storehouses. Alas, I don't have enough money anymore. So that's just gonna have to be the way it is. Wow. Wow. And all the way over here, no one's even gonna bother trying to save these buildings from burning down. Because apparently I'm running out of water over here because I don't have enough stone to actually upgrade the wells, which means there's not enough water, which means, yeah. Yeah, it's um, a little frustrating. It's a little frustrating. You know something that doesn't make a lot of sense? I feel like these foresters' camps aren't actually working. I'm telling them to make a very high priority for planting. Not a single person is planting. They're all chopping trees. What about over here? 
Uh, chopping, chopping, chopping. Well, that's because I haven't told them to actually do any planting. Let's just see if this ends up changing here a little bit. Nope. Chopping, chopping, chopping. Oh my god. You know, after I was saying that I feel like the devs did a good job of getting forestry up and running, are you telling me that this isn't gonna work? Because if so, that's a little annoying. And here come more raiders. Okay, they're attacking me from where I have absolutely no defenses. Again. And they're attacking me from where I have absolutely no defenses. Mm-hmm. So, all these towers I've been investing in, paying massive guard salaries, expecting to get attacked, that's been a total waste of time, is what you're saying. Oh, this feels good. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah. I mean, I could try to just go ahead and recruit some units real quick and just see if they help. <laughs> it sure as heck won't be enough, though, and I know that. I mean, heck, I don't even think I have any swords. So my only hope is just get a bunch of archers and then just harass them at a distance. Is that it? I think that's all I can do. But I can't afford their monthly costs when I'm done. Whatever, we have to try. Get 12 archers, quickly. Fetch your bows and arrows. All right, so are my units actually gonna get into the garrison? Fascinating. So they actually are getting into the barracks with their bows and they're gonna shoot the crud out of these guys. Plus I got all these towers in position. Okay, so the archers actually can do some good work. I mean, that's something, I suppose. Didn't stop me from losing three of my archers anyway, but you know, whatever, it's beside the point. Now, the thing that I hate about them is I want them to attack and they're too stupid to do it. And then they run in and start punching these guys, which is a great way for your units to get killed. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, the archers might actually be kind of stupid. They run out of arrows way too fast. Way too fast to be very useful. Well, it's fine. So we lost a few people, but we survived the raid. What I could do in the future, honestly, is just go ahead and create a company of archers only. Whenever I know I'm about to be attacked, and then as soon as it's done, just disband the company so I don't have to pay their salaries. You have to pay the upfront cost of just hiring them, but if that saves a bunch of your towers from getting destroyed, that easily saves me money. Well, at least for now, I can go through and start disabling all these towers. We know we're not gonna get raided for at least another year or two. So this will save me a good chunk of money. I wish there was a mass select option so I could quickly do this, because clicking through every single one of these is a pain in the butt-tut. Whoa, what the frick is happening over here now? Uh, hello? I know I was- I know I was asking you guys to plant trees, but did you have to plant them in such a creepy circle around my bees? Looks like some sort of occultic ritual site. On the other hand, are they actually planting the trees, or did something weird happen here, because... I still don't see any evidence they're actually, like, you know, planting trees. Except for this weird setup here. Oh, wait. Nope. They're planting trees after all. Okay. I'm not sure... Uh, okay. Whatever. I'm not sure what is driving these foresters to not work the way that I expect them to, but whatever. The p important thing is they are, in fact, planting trees now. I don't know if it's because I had to reload the game or something, but it's working, so okay. Criticism withdrawn. How are you on most resources? I'm actually producing a pretty awesome amount of grain. It's actually taking a while to turn this all into flour, which is why I have to have three windmills now. Um, and then I'm trying to bake that into bread, but we're consuming it very rapidly. Still, getting that fixed and also growing peas in the right season seems to be solving a lot of my food problems. We're doing really, really well. I just sold off a lot of trade goods, including things like some soap and some candles, so this doesn't mean a lot right now. Producing way more flax than I need. I suppose one thing we could do is place down some more weaver buildings. Make an absolute ton of clothes. No, 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 no. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to make paper because this is something I haven't done yet. And since I'm also producing a lot of hides, what I can do is now turn flax, water, and hides into books. This seems like a good new venture for me. I don't have a clue if it's true. It may be a massive waste of my time but I figure it's worth a shot. I definitely can't fit my 400 population within the current walls over here, by the way. So I'm completely right. I have to get myself another market and another round of houses all the way over in this corner. Oh, good lord. Oh, this seems good. Bows, crossbows, and towers deal 15% more damage. Yeah, that's actually probably better than the soldiers and guards, because I'm not really making use of soldiers per se. Not really, but towers and anyone with a bow. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder though, is there actually any sort of benefit for having two of the same type of a relic? Is that a thing? 
I don't see any difference to my spirituality bonus, but that would've been kinda cool. I do officially have enough housing capacity for 400 people, by the way, and we are tantalizingly close. 397. Three more to go, and we'll hit that threshold. Two, no, three more houses to get upgraded, and we'll hit that threshold. Then it's a matter of stacking up some bricks and some planks. I've got enough clay to make this work, so I just need to get my money. Oh my gosh, we're so, 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 so close. Okay, there we go. We've officially met all of our requirements. Stack up those resources, boys. Go, go, go. The bigger problem that I can see is I'm fully expecting to get attacked pretty soon. Feels like we're overdue by about a year. So any minute now, we're gonna see banditos come rolling around the hills, right? Probably. And I am now sitting on almost 1,200 gold, a little bit more than that actually, across the board here. So money is not an issue for me right now. You know, at least until the raiders come by and take all of it, which you know is coming. Still no raid. I'll be honest, it's starting to scare me a little bit. Is this one of those things where like the pressure starts to really build up, right? If they haven't raided you in like four years, that means the next one's gonna be a real doozy. Because that's I'm afraid is about to happen. And if that does happen, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to survive. I might want to consider getting some additional barracks. You know, more barracks so I can actually hire more companies. Because if I can only ever have 12 people here, that's not exactly much. As we've already seen, you know, 12 people can die very, very quickly against a bunch of raiders. I guess I don't mind getting myself a second barracks. We can place one up over this direction, I guess, and maybe use it for defenses later on. Actually, there's a thought. Could a barracks be the most effective form of tower defense at all the main gates? Probably not with the way that I've laid my city out. Too many points to defend, but it's a thought. Okay, well, whatever, I guess. No raiders. I mean, I've got my 300 bricks, so all we have to do now is go over here, transfer over a chunk of wealth. Something like this should be more than enough. And then, boom, it's time to go for that upgrade! Watch them attack me, like, right now. Like, literally right now. You just know it's coming. Oh! I knew it! I knew it! There they are! Oh, frick me! Alright, they're gonna come through over here. Yep, the barracks are not built. And then they're gonna come through over here. <sighs> okay, um, would've been nice to maybe have this barracks built in time, but since that's not happened, oh well, I guess. Right, we're gonna do the same thing we had done before. I'm just gonna go ahead and hire up 12 archers and see if maybe they make any sort of a difference. The mad scramble is always just to get my people armed as quickly as possible. I wish there was an easier way to disperse weapons to important areas, right? So like if I'm gonna have a bunch of towers over here and I'm gonna leave them unguarded for a while, I'd rather have a storehouse that specifically is gonna have a minimum number of uh, weapons over here. I could set up this whole storehouse and just say, hey, the only thing you're allowed to carry is bows. I could do that. But there's no guarantee anyone's gonna drop any off over here, which means they'll have the same problem and have to go run and pick up some sort of weapon and ammunition. I don't know, I'm just saying, it'd be nice if I could do some, have some way of getting around that. Just, just a little bit. A party of 85 raiders is on the way, oh, frick me. 85, huh? Uh-huh, okay, this is, oh, this is gonna be great. Nope, oh, revise that, apparently we're up to 94 now. Okay, yeah, sure. Building destroyed. Where? Oh, they broke through the fence. Yeah, that makes sense. My advice, everybody, don't fight them, don't contest them, run, okay? Everyone over here, let them run unopposed to my city center, okay? That is the safest thing you can do right now. No, seriously, folks, I would like to stress that you all need to run somewhere else. Where? Okay. Where are all my archers? Why are some of them running over here? That's a great way to get yourself killed. Do not go charging uh, head first into the raiders on your own. That is stupid. All right, here they come. They're gonna start getting shot at. We weren't able to build the town center. Barely we weren't able to build the town center in time. I swear to God, if you knock this down after I just invested all those resources, I'm gonna be real mad. Gonna get real mad. And by the way, what's happening over here? Oh, all the raiders have decided they wanna funnel through this direction. Okay, can I create a RimWorld kill box here? Because they're acting like I can create a RimWorld kill box here. Which would be absolutely hilarious if that is an option. Huh. I don't think these guys got very far. Like, at all. Wait, we're supposed to be getting attacked somewhere over here too, right? I thought I just saw a little arrow saying that there was some- Yeah, see, there's one on my right side of my screen. So there are more enemies on their way over here somewhere. Oh wait, there they are! Hello! Okay, they're trying to break through the wall over here. Well, that is... 
Awkward. Can we shoot over these walls with these archers? Is this an option for me? No, it doesn't appear so. See, this is why I don't like archers. Because you can't actually do anything with them. You have to sit there and wait for them to break through a wall, or you have to hop outside the safety of the wall. What is the point? I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. All right, so we're absolutely obliterating the guys who are attacking the town center. Which is great. I'm literally just waiting for these walls to fall. Maybe I can just, like, step out here and do something, do you think? Can I outrun them if I have to? Maybe I can draw them over to these towers. Go take a few shots, guys. Go pew pew pew. There we go. Okay, yeah, 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 there we go. They're pretty distracted. No, don't run in there just because you decided not to use your bows anymore. That's stupid. Okay, they decided to run in there anyway. They are actually stupid. Good God, I... No, the archers got like one or two volleys. They're so dumb. That's it. I don't even want you anymore. I'm disbanding you. Screw this. Stupid. Man, they're slowly chipping away at those walls, though, aren't they? Oh, well, yeah, they are. Slowly chipping away. Good lord. That is funny. Sounds like I'm gonna need to build some, uh, towers over here, honestly. If this is a place that's gonna get hit more than once. Which kind of makes sense. It's a little corner. Your pathing might say they have to. Guys, can you go put out the fires, please? Can you please go to put out the fires? We didn't start the fire, but I'm demanding you freaking put it out. Oh my god, this is such a waste of my time. Should I just demolish the wall? I could just salvage the building and say screw it. Oh, they did it! Congratulations! I'm almost proud of you. Not really though. Look at them all get look at them get shot. Now they're running away! This was a mistake! Run for the hills! Dummies. God, so stupid. Alright, rebuild that. Okay, these fortified walls are pretty good, it turns out. Unless they have a battering ram. That would that would be bad. Village was raided. Alright, two villagers killed, four buildings destroyed. We killed 78 raiders. They got absolutely nothing. That was one of the best defenses we've ever had. Oh, they're working on the town center. There it is. Look at that thing. It's gorgeous. Oh, my voice is breaking because I've been recording this for too long. It's been about three hours exactly like I said it would be. Woohoo. All right. No more upgrades to be had. That is it. That is maximum technologic. Let's take a look at what our new options are. So the things that I really are going to care about now is stuff like getting a deep quarry. Yes, I very much, very badly do want to has unlimited stone. So we're gonna have to place this sucker over here for sure. Plus, let's not forget that we do want to get a temporary shelter as well, just so people will be able to keep working for a bit longer. So this is one really good thing. We also can now get some clay. So let's go back to our resources and find that freaking deep deposit of clay. I think it's over here. There it is! Oh my god, we can fix so many problems now. Let's go ahead and place this over here and do the exact same thing. I know that I need some, like, heavy tools. I am aware of this. We can either buy them, or I do know how to produce them myself. It's just gonna take some time. Blacksmith Forge, only make heavy tools for a little bit. Use my bars, make it happen, please. Thank you. Oh, all right. With that, I think I'm finally gonna allow myself to take a break. Very difficult to know if this is going to be a video that is too short or too long, if I'm completely honest with you. This is just, you know, one of those things. It's like I kind of... I kind of recorded for a long time, knowing I'd have long stretches. It might be fine, it may not. What am I missing here, by the way? Ooh, a library where our people can get entertained by books! Okay, and a guild hall. Wait a minute. Manage the industries and services in a settlement consuming paper to improve efficiency. <gasps> that sounds important! Alright, we'll have to come back to a lot of that stuff later on though, that didn't used to exist. Thank you all very much for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, if so. I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.